So art therapists are mental health counselors, so we're just here to provide emotional support to the kiddos and we get to offer really cool art supplies along with that. The focus is on the emotional support, like how can we process our feelings through art and our focus is to making sure that they feel okay and not feel that they can express themselves in a safe environment. So the counseling part is first, the art comes second, they're both equally as important. His name is Mighty Tidy. He's a sickle cell superhero. So art, it relaxes me. Art and music. I'm going to make the ribbon. Every day when we go in those rooms, we're facing these life altering moments, but we're also facing those waiting moments. I mean, they're waiting every day for that moment, you know, of another chance at life. Making art can be, not even just making art, but having an art therapist present in that space to be a support staff and a support person is so important um, for these families. The funding is so important because we are 100% donor funded, so neither of us are here if we don't have funding from the community. But because we're donor funded, we don't have to bill, which opens us up to be able to see any patient that needs us, any parent that needs us, and any sibling that needs us. So we are able to see the whole gamut of individuals that come into the hospital. We have even have a parent group that happens once a month that we're able to do, and that just doesn't happen without, without the funds. It's incredible to, to really kind of hear about the stories of how our therapy programs here at Riley have, have such an impact on the, on the patients that they care for. An overwhelming majority of us are just as interested in how our funding of these kinds of art therapy programs at Riley are so effective at getting great results for patients in incredible need. We don't know when the heart is going to come or we, you know, we don't know how the stem cell transplant is going to go or you know, we don't know how the chemotherapy treatment is going to affect this person. So we, you know, we're always in that waiting. So when we're going in as the non-medical professional and really as that helping professional, we're going in as kind of that support. We are that extra support underneath and that is why our job is so important.